This short tutorial will walk instructors through the process of creating an announcement in a Blackboard course shell that's never been used before. As you can see, I've already logged into Blackboard, and here are my list of courses. To enter a course shell, just click the title of the course. This particular sample course shell is one from the Connecticut Community Colleges, all of which have a course template applied to them, so there will already be some buttons on the course menu here at the left. Up at the top, you'll see the Announcements button. There will also be a default announcement. The verbiage changes a little bit from college to college, but the announcement will say something like, Greeting students, if you're seeing this message, your instructor is not using this Blackboard course. So the first thing that you want to do is to delete this announcement, and then you'll create a new one. To delete the announcement, notice that when I hover the mouse right over the announcement, I see some icons here to the left and also to the right. On the right, I see a small drop-down arrow. By clicking that arrow, I can edit the announcement or delete the announcement. In this case, I want to delete this announcement. So I click Delete, and then up at the top, a small dialog box appears, reminding me that the action is final and can't be undone. I click OK. Now there are no announcements in this course. Now let's create the new announcement. I click the Create Announcement button, and then I title the announcement. Now I've added a short subject line. Now I want to add some content into the message window of the announcement. I'm going to use the vertical scroll bar to scroll down a little bit. Now before I go any further, I want to bring your attention to this message area here. This is called the Content Editor, and you'll see the Content Editor in many tools in Blackboard. Notice that there are toolbars up at the top, and then there's a text field. First of all, let me draw your attention to the fact that to the right here, you have a little double up-pointing arrow, and if I click it, it collapses the toolbars. So clicking it once collapses them, clicking it again expands them. I can also enter the text of my announcement into this message area. I'll do that in a moment. And I can also make this area bigger by putting my mouse over this bottom right corner, left clicking and dragging down. So I give myself a little bit more screen real estate in this content editor box. Now I'm going to add some text into this message box for the announcement. Okay, the faculty member has added some text here, telling the students what to click on, the course content button in the menu, and also telling them to review the PowerPoint lecture and case study that's been uploaded there. But I would like to format the text. I want to make it a little bit larger. I do this the same way I would in Microsoft Word. I just drag to select the text, and then I can select a slightly larger type font. I can also make this sentence bold by selecting it and clicking the bold button. That's all I want to do for now. I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to select not date restricted to make sure that the announcement displays right away. If I wanted to, I could also click send a copy of this announcement immediately. That would use Blackboard's email tool to distribute the announcement text to all of the students via their student email. Once I'm done with that, I can click Submit. And here's my new announcement. That's all there is to it. Now, give it a try in one of your own courses.